Another one! If you've ever dealt with a three-year-old after a single Reese's cup, you probably understand why the hummingbird is the way it is. This three-inch adderall prescribed bird suffers from a rare condition called the sugar rush, meaning it's in a perpetual state of hyperactivity. Just like how the red Mic and Ike will cause any human to sprint a half marathon, the hummingbird, upon sipping the forbidden juice aka nectar, will proceed to beat its wings 80 times per second, fly at a whopping 30 miles per hour, and chopstick some insects straight out of the air like a disgruntled Asian grandma. This thirsty ass bird has a sugar addiction so bad that it visits up to 2,000 flowers a day, and if that isn't dedication, I don't know what is. Now what separates the hummingbird from the average human is the ability to unstick themselves from their chair. Due to the active lifestyle of the hummingbird, its metabolism is the fastest out of all living animals. Surprisingly, hummingbirds still only eat 10 calories a day, and if that sounds like nothing, well shit, you'd be right. But if us humans ate like hummingbirds, we'd have to consume approximately 120,000 calories a day. That's 207 grimace shakes. Yo, what are you looking at? As a result, these goobers have a heart that could beat up to 1260 times in a single minute. For reference, a human has a resting heart rate of around 60 to 100 beats per minute. Even the most strenuous, most exhausting workout possible shouldn't get you above 220. But once the party's over, hummingbirds can decrease their heartbeat all the way down to a moderate 50. This is present during the hummingbird's equivalent of sleep, aka torpor. During torpor, they are so still you'd think they were a body from Pompeii. Yo. Yo. Wake up, there's a girl! Oh, oh shit, where? Hummingbirds don't play when it comes to work in the gherkin. Now let's start from the beginning. Male hummingbirds might search in solitude, but also sometimes search in a lek. Basically meaning they're with the boys! Once the female is presented with a group of handsome, distinguished, chivalrous birds, it will point its bill towards the one it has an interest in. What, me? Is she pointing at me? Mm -hmm. Yo, let's go! But don't get too excited yet, cause it's not over. Now he has to prove himself to be worthy of her presence. Bright colors? Check. You let's already go! know, you already know. Sing for me real quick. <clears throat> Alright, check. It's too easy! It's just too easy! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't celebrate now. You know what you have to do, right? Right? This is the moment that decides it all. For this male hummingbird, it may be his only chance. This week. It's time for this Anna's hummingbird to do what he does best. Epstein didn't kill himself! He flies 150 feet in the air, aligns perfectly with the shine of the sun, and then drops down at a mind-boggling 60 miles per hour. And right before he slams into her, he stops with the force of 9 G's, more than enough to kill a human being. Now if and only if this stunt impresses her, she'll stay for the millimeter defeater. But for this poor bird right here, she's leaving him for the feeders. But be aware, this bird has an insane memory, so chances are he won't ever forget this moment for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> but for the lucky fellow that does impress her, he'll get a ticket straight to that hummingbird cooch. Four seconds, baby! Woo! Turns out that while hummingbirds are fast in the air, they're even faster in the bedroom. And after such a wonderful, spectacular performance in the bedroom, the male will leave and never come back. While this deadbeat dad will be goofing around finding other females to mingle with, the mother will be hard at work getting an engineering degree to build a nest for her children. And let me tell you, this nest is no easy build. As a bare minimum, these nests require 150 whole round trips to create. Each trip she picks up an assortment of leaves, bark, fluff, resin, and spider webs. These webs are actually the secret to the hummingbird nest. Within around a week of construction, the nest will finally be ready for eggs. The craziest part is that once the chicks grow, the nest will expand to accommodate them thanks to the good old spider silk. Back to the insanity, it's now my breeding season! Put, Put on, on your, your belts and buckles everyone cause we're going on a 4,000 mile road trip! Did he say 4,000? I don't know, I think so. Yes, I said 4,000! Pack your bags, we're heading to Northwest Canada! Woo! Dog, we're in Mexico. Yes, you heard that right. There is a hummingbird crazy enough to go from Mexico to Alaska. 
Out of all places, you picked fucking Alaska? And this bird is the size of a credit card. Nah. Nah, I'm done. I'm done.